Hey everyone, it's Christopher, aka the Bronze Age Nerd, and welcome to another episode of Bronze Buys. This is the show where I go over everything I picked up over the last week in comic books and action figures and share them with you. I'd also love to know what you guys picked up, so let me know down below in the comments what you grabbed this week. I'm always excited to talk to you guys about that. So first up, I wanted to follow up on something that I had posted about before. I talked about picking up a copy of Mindhunter number one, signed by Piper Rudick. That was the uh, the regular version cover. This is the like C cover basically with the, clearly the black and white and then the pink color splash. And, and she sent me the wrong comic book. It was a totally honest mistake and she was awesome enough to send me out this replacement. That was fantastic. Thanks a lot, Piper, for all the help. I really appreciate it. And now I really get to enjoy this cover. I absolutely love it. Moving on to another fantastic artist. I picked up a set of this uh, Carla Cohen, The Nice House on the Lake number one. Uh, from Comics Corner. And of course that set also came with the minimal trade dress. And this is my first order from Comics Corner. I just wanna say they did a fantastic job, great packaging. It actually kind of had a little bit of a white glove feel to it. They did a really cool job with some like tissue paper around the comics. It was really nice, I really appreciated that. Thanks a lot and I'm gonna enjoy these books. When I found out that Venom 200 or Venom 35, if you're not looking at using the legacy numbers, uh, was going to be a key where, where Dylan Brock became the next Venom, I made sure that I wanted to get, uh, since it's a high print book, I wanted to get some ratio variants. So I ordered several of the J. Scott Campbell 1 in 50 cover. Uh, I got these two from Midtown. Uh, I got this one right here and then also this one. And uh, they look like they're in pretty good shape. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I haven't gone over them with the fine tooth comb yet, but uh, pretty excited. I'm hoping I can submit at least a couple of these that I got. And I'm really excited to have a couple of the higher, harder to get comic books. I didn't go for any of the, the higher ratios because damn ratios are expensive. Um, but I also love J. Scott Campbell and it's kind of cool to get a cover of his um, where it's not just a hot chick. I love those covers, but it is kind of nice to get some some variety. And, and it's definitely a, a very cool version of the cover. I really appreciate that. So that's awesome. So when I said I went heavy on these, I was not kidding. I also got two of them from the Comic Mint. and. They've just done a fantastic job shipping as well. So uh, they decided to ship in a top loader, um, although they loaded through the bottom, which is kind of interesting, but no judgment. Um, I'm just happy to get them and they look like they're in really good shape as well. Um, so yeah, Venom 200, I got four copies and I'm really stoked to have those. I also got this sweet uh, Indiegogo package with the uh, Red Sonia, Very Gary's Demise. Uh, that's Gary right there. Very Gary from Very Gary Comics on YouTube. Go check him out, guys. I'm sure you have already. Uh, this was a cool little Indiegogo, and I really thought Invincible Red Sonia was was a cool comic. The thing I liked that they did about this, too, is they also included the uh, Amanda Connor A cover there as well, which is a really nice touch. Um, so very excited to have this and add it to the collection. I like the the kind of cool YouTuber uh, variants that are out there, like the Jim Mint Vampirella was pretty sweet, too. So pretty awesome, and I'm stoked to have it. So when we got some, some confirmation that Scar was going to be coming to the MCU, uh, made sure that to go and grab at least one scar key. I think the market has sort of decided this isn't the first full appearance that this is actually the cameo, but that's a little in flux. So we'll see how that shakes out. But, uh, and I also can't remember off the top of my head, I'm, I'll have it corrected up here. I don't even know why I'm saying this, but I think this is the one in 25. Uh, but I picked this up from Midtown and uh, was excited to get this one in. It came very fast and shipped pretty well, which is pretty awesome to see. So thanks a lot. All right. So next, I got a whole bunch of orders from Economics and Comics. They kind of all flooded in this week. So I'm just going to combine them all together. I did get another Carla Cohen Nice House on the Lake number one set from him with another minimal trade dress. And I did get a second Kendrick Kunkka Wonder Girl number one set from him as well. Uh, just a fantastic cover. I absolutely love this version of Yara Floor. So I got the whole set. Uh, with the A cover, the B cover, minimal trade, and of course, as I said last time, my favorite, the the all black uh, variant virgin. And it got shown up by another cover last time, but this time I'm gonna make sure and label this my booty cover of the week. That's right, it's uh, definitely a thick, nice booty, and it's gotta get some respect on this channel. So it's time it got its due, and here you go. Booty cover of the week, just for you, Yara Floor. I did get some more Nice House on the Lakes. Uh, I picked up the, a set of the A and the B regular covers, uh, so I got two of each, and the creepy as fuck B cover, which I love, that's great, this is awesome, this is kind of a horror comic, so. I love all the cool covers and variants we're seeing for this one. And I picked up some more Venom 200s. These were my original FOC orders, not things I went out and specially ordered when I found out the news. Uh, but I got two of the Nick Spencer Venom 200s. 
but I did get two of the Patrick Gleason webhead covers, which not my favorite webhead, but uh, it's not bad either. And I had to get two of the Stegmans as well because Stegman's been, you know, all over this series. Uh, I don't think he illustrated every single issue of it, but still uh he put his, his mark on this series for sure so uh, i just felt like this was the perfect cover to get i don't do these uh, reprint facsimiles very often but uh, just you know something about this one I had to get it with all the red sonia hype coming around and picking up all those invincible red sonias so just snagged a copy of this i know absolutely nothing about captain harlock um uh, space pirate stuff I, ju I just don't know anything so I probably actually will read this one and check it out. It's just kind of an interesting spec buy for me. If you follow the channel, you know that I'm a big Punchline fan, so this Joker 4 cover had my name all over it. Definitely had to go after Bunny Mask number one, another one I'm excited to check out. I tried to grab all these uh, different uh, Strange Academy, Arthur Adams uh, headshot covers. So this is Strange Academy 11. Every once in a while, the action figure covers get me, and this Thor one was just cool. I had to grab it. And of course, I had to get Children of the Atom number four, being a big X-Men fan. I also snagged Batman the Detective number three, as well as Detective Comics 1037. This is one of those really weird cover buys where I just was like, there's something about that cover. So I just snagged this uh, this Heroes Reborn Nightwing cover. I grabbed this uh, X-Men 21 Spider-Man villain. It was one of my favorite covers for X-Men 21, and I'm just a, a thirsty bastard for Jean Grey and Emma Frost, so why not? <laughs> but if you know me, you know my boy is Cyclops, so I definitely had to grab the Cyclops. I think these are the Daughter Men connecting covers. And I grabbed this, uh, this uh, Captain Britain slash Psylocke, whatever she's calling herself these days, Excalibur 21 cover. And finally, I snagged this uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunters uh, uh, Pride cover. I thought it was a cool cover and wanted to grab this one too. So thanks for following along with all my bronze buys for the week. Uh, as always, I am curious to hear what you guys picked up down below in the comments. Definitely let me know, uh, especially if it was a spec pick or if it was just a cool find you found at a comic shop or while you were out hunting for comics, I always want to hear about that stuff. Eagle-eyed viewers will notice that I did not declare a bronze by the week, and the reason why was because it was a little weird. My choice for bronze by the week uh, is a modern comic, and I got it from two different sellers, so I didn't really feel right calling it out each time, and I didn't really feel right, um, you know, jilting one, one store I got it from over the other or anything like that. Um, but... And they use different packaging techniques here, clearly. But my uh, my four one in fifty Venom two hundreds, uh, those are going to be my bronze buy of the week. Uh, big J Scott Campbell fan, and I'm a fan of uh, where this Venom storyline is going to go. I really am excited to see what happens to Dylan. So that's my bronze buy of the week. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. I hope to catch you on the next one. And I just want to remind you, as always, hey 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 hey, read comics every day.